So we're having a look at genetics in this video and it's gonna be from like 45 to 50 marks, give or take. So let's just round it off at 48 and we're doing selected questions. So question one, let's do it. Curly hair is dominant over straight hair. A woman homozygous for curly hair, so CC, marries a man homozygous for straight hair, CC. What is the possibility of them producing a child with straight hair? So the answer here is definitely going to be D. It's 0%. And here's a nice explanation. So a homozygous dominant individual, so CC, can only pass the dominant allele C to offspring. And a homozygous recessive individual can only pass the recessive allele C to offspring. So that's a capital C versus a small c. And all offspring will inherit one allele from each parent, resulting in the heterozygous genotype CC. And since curly hair C, so big C, is dominant, all offspring will have curly hair with absolutely no possibility of straight hair. And um, here are a few reasons why the other options don't work. So looking at the 25%, uh, this is incorrect because none of the offspring can inherit two recessive genes. So no offspring can inherit recessive genes. Uh, why can't B work? Um, this is also incorrect because no child would be straight head. C, 100%, well, it's 100% incorrect because this implies that all offspring would have straight hair, which is entirely not possible. So that one is a definite no-go. Question two, when an individual that is homozygous dominant, so now DD, for a particular characteristic is crossed with an individual with the homozygous recessive, small DD, for a particular characteristic is crossed with an individual, wait, wait, sorry, 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 I am reading wrong. So when an individual that is homozygous dominant, DD, big DD, for a particular characteristic is crossed with an individual that is homozygous recessive, small DD, for the characteristic, all the offspring would be what? So let's look carefully here. Now, let's go to the answer first. So the answer is definitely C, and here's a quick explanation, right? So a homozygous dominant individual, DD, can only contribute the dominant allele D gene. And a homozygous recessive individual, so small DD, can only contribute the recessive allele, small d. And all offspring will inherit one dominant allele, so capital D, and one recessive allele, small d, resulting in the heterozygous genotype, DD. And a few reasons why the, the other options just won't work in a situation like this. So homozygous dominant, this is incorrect because the recessive allele, small d, is always inherited from the homozygous recessive parent, so definitely rules A out. B, this is homozygous recessive, and this is definitely incorrect because no offspring can inherit two recessive alleles. Immediately, sir, of the bat, that's wrong. And D, purebred um, versus pavement special. Yo, my pup is a pavement special. Hey, she's so cute. Um, this is incorrect because purebred implies homozygosity. That's either DD or DD again, which is definitely not the case here. Okay, and that's it for question ones and two. Question one and two. Question three. So the diagram on the right, well, look, this, this, that's the diagram, shows the alleles for height in a flowering plant. T equals tall dominant and small t equals short uh, recessive. So what do you guys think the answer is? Okay, so it's B and here's why. So the diagram shows one dominant allele, so capital T, and one recessive allele, small t, which represents the heterozygous genotype, TT. And a heterozygous individual displays the dominant trait, tall height, because T is dominant over T. Okay, and this is why the other options won't work. So A definitely won't work because homozygotes uh, dominant would require two dominant alleles. So something like TT, which the diagram doesn't show. We don't have a possibility here. Uh, C is also in incorrect because homozygous recessive would require two recessive alleles. So now a small TT. And D, incompletely dominant for height, this is, well, completely incorrect because there's no mention of incomplete dominance in this scenario. And this trait, it follows complete dominance. So what we have 
And question three is complete dominance. Question four, the alleles for black fur, capital B, is dominant over the allele for brown fur, fur, <laughs> B. You know, there's also this really lovely like noodle soup dish in Vietnam called pho. Oh, absolutely love it. I was there not too long ago, just backpacking. So good. And I even got a, a t-shirt with like a bowl of pho and the caption was, what the pho? I thought it was so hilarious. So uh, over the allele for brown fur, which of the following crosses will result in a ratio of 50% homozygous black to 50% heterozygous black? So homo here versus hetero. So the answer here is it's definitely going to be A. And here's why. So for this cross, a heterozygous black individual, so capital B, small b, is crossed with the homozygous recessive brown individual, B, B. And the Punnett square for capital B, small b times BB, it yields 50% capital B, small b, heterozygous black, and 50% BB, two small b's, homozygous brown. Therefore, the ratio 50% homozygous black to 50% heterozygous black, it cannot occur. Okay, and that's absolutely key. Um, and you know, because of that explanation, it absolutely rules everything else out. Uh, so the answer there is simply going to be a. Okay, let's do a few quick fire questions now, some basic terms. So, an allele that does not influence the phenotype when found in the heterozygous condition, the answer here, think about it, it's gonna be recessive. Two, the position of a gene on a chromosome, it's also a type of insect, think about it, it's a locus but the insect we spell with a T at the end. This is a locus. The physical and functional expression of a gene. Think about it. It's going to be the phenotype. Number four, a section of a DNA molecule that codes for a specific characteristic. This is going to be a gene, not a, not a Levi's jeans. Terrible joke, I know. Sorry. Question five, two or more alternative forms of a gene at the same locus. This is a very, very important one. Allele. Aleli. Alele. You, you got to know how to pronounce that, hey? Because the first time you saw it, you were, you were probably confused, huh? Uh, question six. A genetic cross involving one characteristic. Just one characteristic. This is going to be a mono hybrid. If there were many characteristics, it would be a poly hybrid. Like many relationships, like poly, polygamous, anything like that. Question seven. The type of inheritance where the dominant allele masks the expression of the recessive allele in the heterozygous state. What do you guys think? Incomplete or complete? That is the answer. And question eight, a genetic cross involving one characteristic. Um, once more, this is going to be monohybrid. Okay. Those were all the questions that were uh, requested with explanations of why the others don't work. A few quick fire questions as well. But yeah, good luck for this section, guys. It is relatively big. Uh, you can do it. Just breathe. I know a few of you battle with it from time to time, but it is entirely doable. Good luck for your life science paper too. Cheers.